girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys um, about me learning to step out of my comfort zone. So, a couple weeks ago, I've realized that I've lost a lot of motivation to do, you know, a lot of things. So, I told my mom this, and she said, if instead of asking her to go places, like run errands with her, that I don't want to go to places that I don't want to go to, she's going to make me go. Like, if I don't want to go to church, she's going to make me go. If I don't want to go to any other place I really, really, really don't want to go to, she's going to make me go otherwise. Just so I can get out of the house and do something productive, because that's what my mom and my older brother want me to do. They care about me the most. So does my other family members, and they want what's best for me. And if there's one thing that I've learned from watching Peter Pan as a kid, I realized that as much as I want to stay a kid forever, not accept responsibilities, and, you know, just have fun, I realized that I need to grow up at some point. Because you can't stay a kid forever because you'll be stuck in the past. You need to keep moving forward so you can create a better future for yourself and myself in general. I need to grow up, become an adult, accept responsibilities, and grow as a person. Think of what could be better if I go places that I've never been before. Like, I've always wanted to go to Disney World or Disneyland, but it's, it's so expensive. And my cousins, they've been there. I've seen their Instagram pictures. They went to Disney World, Disneyland. I'm jealous. I want to go there one day too, but I don't have the money for it. But until then, I'm going to be going places that I don't want to go to. In order to step out of my comfort zone, my personal bubble, my personal bubble, i it's where I feel safest in. I feel safe at home. Home is where I feel safe. My comfort zone is my area. The area of my comfort zone is my home. And I need to at least expand my bubble, go to places that I've really don't want to go to, but there's some places I really want to go to eventually. It's just, it'll take time and I'll have to be patient for that. It's going to take a lot and a lot of patience. There are times I can be very impatient with certain things, but I'm getting there. I told my therapist about this and she agrees. I need to do some things productive if I don't have a job yet, and eventually I'll get one, maybe volunteer for something. Even if I don't want to volunteer for that specific job, I'm going to have to do it anyway. As much as it sucks, as much as I don't want to do it, as much as I want to stay at home, play games, watch YouTube, and I'm still going to record videos for y'all. Don't worry about that. As much as I'm trying to be productive and step out of my comfort zone, I'll still record videos for you guys. And it's not just this comfort zone I'm trying to step out of. There's another comfort zone that I n might need to step out of at some point. Is that I hide a specific talent from my family and everyone around me. Is singing. I love to sing and I'm really good at it. It's just I don't like singing in front of my family members. The only people that um, that know that I can sing really good is one of my closest friends. He's, he heard me singing in high school when um, one of my teachers has put on music while we were working. I started singing and he kind of thought I had a really good singing voice and I didn't mind singing in like in the middle of class when I was doing my work, but singing in front of my family just made me feel uncomfortable and awkward. So there there was this one time on Christmas a while ago that my grandma and her boyfriend came over and my uh, grandma's boyfriend bought his guitar. So they thought it would be a good idea that I would sing in front of everybody 
while he's playing his guitar so we can sing a Christmas song together. And it was so embarrassing, but I did it anyway. I started singing Santa Baby. <laughs> it was one of the songs I picked for, you know, a Christmas song. And I think I did pretty good, but it's just embarrassing. People were staring at me, but I was mostly staring at my phone the whole time looking at the lyrics because I don't know every Christmas song. I don't know every lyric to the top of my head. So I look at my phone. And then at the last minute, as soon as the song was over, my mom started recording me. And I noticed it. I was pissed. And embarrassed. But hey, what's done is done. Eventually, I'll step out of that comfort zone. But that comfort zone is very different from the one I'm trying to get out of at this moment. And eventually, when it comes to ex Banding my horizons, going places I don't want to go to, and places I really want to go to one day. One day the future will be in the palm of my hand. Well, not exactly in the palm of my hand. Because everybody's future will be different. I wish I can see the future, but I'm not a fortune teller. I wish that what the future leads to me, what's going to happen in the future... Will I be able to find love? Will I be able to go to a place that I've never been before that I really want to go to? Who knows? I wish I was a fortune teller so I can see into the future. I wish there was a fortune teller out there who could tell me my future, but I don't know anyone who is a fortune teller. I don't know anybody who's a fortune teller. But hey, the future is unknown for me. And I'll stay like that until my dying breath, I guess. <laughs> until I've seen everything I need to see. So, that's all I have to say for this week's video. And I'm slowly progressing as a person. Trying to get there, at least. I won't be the best person in the world to, you know, progress. And I'll still get there. Nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. But that's what's make that that is what makes us human in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.